So, so one of the misnomers I think everybody uh, says right now about anything food tech is like, oh, this is a revolution. I think that's completely wrong. I think we're transforming the food system, but in order to properly do it, uh, companies need to stop, uh, companies like mine, need to stop assuming a market is there and build a category. And I think people aren't looking at it from that perspective because everything consumers want and demand is something that some incredible marketing and team kind of brought forward and made them want. Like that's the reality. There's very few things we want innately. In terms of what we're gonna eat, I mean, we've had years to move to salad and go to all these plant-based things and get rid of meat and all that. It's not, it's not something we're gonna do. Even the data is very strong. Like there's a strong correlation between uh, countries increasing GDP per capita and the amount of animal products each individual consumes. So as a country gets richer, people buy more animal products. I don't think the content on the plate is going to change. I think there's gonna be some part of the market that's displaced by the production method. And I think, obviously I'm bullish on cell-based meat, but I think cell-based meat can start to enter that conversation, but it'll never entirely eliminate any of the legacy companies. I think uh, things are just gonna change in terms of what the offerings are. Like my guess is gonna be, it, once we get to price parity, the legacy companies are probably gonna start offering even more premium products. That's probably my guess.